Hey guys, Jabby back. Well, unfortunately, we need to talk to Ryan again. Well, might as well rip the band-aid. Let's get it done with. I, I appreciate you giving me a chance. I'm not giving you a chance. I'm giving you two minutes. That's it. What do you want? Just say whatever it is and go. Hey, I wanted to apologize to you for, uh, what happened at the Starshine Awards. What could you be apologizing for? Maybe you're undermining me at every opportunity? Or could it be for getting Mom on my case? Telling her that I lost my job. And that I investigated Blake's death. Or perhaps you mean for giving Dick Stafford a $50,000 bribe to make sure we didn't win anything? And then lying to me about it? No worries, you're forgiven. I am? <laughs> of course you aren't, you piece of... Why did you do it, Ryan? Why did, did you just want to stick the knife in? Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. Hey, I was still hurt. I wanted to hurt you, too. It was stupid, and it was vindictive. And I'm sorry. Well, it worked. You got what you wanted. Congratulations, I guess. Hey, I was an idiot. Yeah, I was only thinking about myself. I've heard it all before. How About how sorry you are. It isn't just this occasion petty and spiteful as it is, it's what you tried to make me think that I was the one the one wrong for questioning you. <sighs> uh, but that was the moment I remembered everything you put me through. Please, just give me another chance. Why are you back in my life and why are you suddenly everywhere I turn now? Believe it or not, the point of getting a divorce was to see less of you. It's just a coincidence. I happen to be going to the Starshine Awards anyway. And you know Blackstock Holdings invested in that film a while back. Coincidence, right. Definitely wasn't that you wanted to see the effect of your tight little bribe. No, okay, that was part of it. And now you're here, and now here you are, again. Because your mom's worried about you. She asked me to come down to try and talk some sense into you. And of course, her little golden boy came rushing to help. So, that's it? Great. You said your piece, now go. No, that's not everything I wanted to say. Your mom's worried on her. She thinks you're in danger. That you'll end up the same way as... Don't... Do not... Even... Go there. I don't have to answer to you anymore, Ryan. What I do with my life is now none of your business. You're right, it isn't. But I don't like seeing you make a laughing stock out of yourself. <laughs> Excuse me? I didn't want to show you this, but if you're not going to listen to reason, what choice do I have? Okay. 7-1. Probably, like, we could put that there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yep. 5... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Dang it. Okay. That's it's not something, it just is. One, two, three, one, two.
Three, three, two. Hey, that's something. Six, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. That was a delightful something. Two, three, four, and then that's enough space. Darn it! Four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. More than that. Poop. Where else can we go? This is a this is a deviously hard one. Ba da 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 ba da 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 Let's see, where else? There's no real good spaces. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I spoke too soon. This does narrow this off a little bit. Five, three, four, five. Five, one, two, three, four, five. All right, that closes that off, so we can have this going. Not that one. Not that one. Four. Still too much for that. This is definitely a one right there. It's definitely going to be a one right there. It's definitely going to be a one right there. Okay. It's gonna be like a newspaper or magazine clipping about how silly we are. I already know that much. You can just guess that. Two, three, four. <sighs> At least the music makes up for a, a little bit of it. Let's see now. Four. Still too much for that. Can definitely fit the one inside that. But. Not right there. One. Now we got a little bit more traction here. Okay. Five, still be six, seven. Six, seven here as well as a possibility. Three, two, fits in there. Dang it. Uh, that's now four space, so we can fit that in there. Doesn't really give us much. Could literally be either of these spots or anything in between here. Hey, that was nice. Four, five, seven.
Wow, oh, this one's rude in how mean it is. Let's see, though. Uh, there's not enough space for this to be one and four, so this is going to be our four. Six. Don't necessarily know that one. Two, one. One. This could be the one or two here. It's the two, at least. That gave me, I knew I just saw what that gave me. Uh, one. Five, six, so that has to be the seven. Uh, two. One. Two is there. Two is there. Uh, I could have closed that off, yeah. This is definitely a two then. You can close all those off. Five, got that. Uh, that's seven. So we got one. One, two, blank, one, two, three, yeah. Too much wiggles. If we could find something nice, that would be... Well, I said nice. It'd... Shish! Definitely a one there, though. There's a three, which makes that a two, which closes that off. Puts that three space in there. Closes that off. All that, all those are ones. Four, two, blank. Three, two. We persevered, baby. We persevered. And what might this be? Tabloid article. Yep. Told you. We knew it. It appears to be an article about our investigation into Blake's death. The headline is, Murder Misguided. It's not exactly complimentary. Let me see that. Writers without... Without writers to guide her, is Honor Mizrai losing the plot? Freshly ejected from her role in Murder Miss Terry, Honor looks like she's having trouble separating fact from fiction. A source on the production told us that she tried to investigate the murder of her showrunner, Blake Patterson, and got it horribly wrong. Her efforts led to a fan being wrongly accused of the murder, and the real culprit escaping, who later committed suicide. Close friends are worried that, without the show to anchor her, she's becoming convinced she's actually a, a detective. A delusion that's caused more harm than good. 
Uh, this kind of press isn't going to help you find another role. People think you're having a breakdown. Do you really want that? <laughs> they what? That's ridiculous. I... Why did you really show me this, Ryan? I know it wasn't just to make me feel bad. <laughs> Sharp as always. Come and work at Blackstock Holdings, Honor. I know you're worried about earning enough to keep yourself afloat, but I can help. You're offering me a job? You don't even have to work with me. You can be in a different department, a different office. Hell, I'll open a new office in Cuba if that's what it takes. But I want to help. How are you sharing? Well, if that's everything, you'll be on your way now, right? Honor, listen. You know what? Fine. I'll go. I need to clear my head after all this anyway. Honor, wait. Just think about it. Honor. Dude, it's another... <clears throat> my head whirled with options. Why was someone interfering in all my... In my life all of a sudden? How was I suddenly fodder for gossip col columnist? Uh, I was about to say a very not good word. Not a swear or anything, just not a good word. Leaving Ryan was supposed to get me back in control of my life. Now everyone was suddenly trying to tell me what to do. Uncertainly, <laughs> Uncertainty tumbled around in my head as I walked. Further and further away from the club. Away from where I thought I wanted to be. Until... Huh? The studio? How did I end up here? Well, KC did say it's just a couple blocks away. Maybe my body's trying to tell me something. Oh god, what am I doing? Maybe Ryan's right. Maybe, maybe this detective turn was... <laughs> will make me lose all credibility. It feels like everyone is trying to push me away from this. Are they right? Should I stop being so... Stubborn? I believe in you, Honor. Scout, you followed me? Yes, you seemed troubled. It's, it's hard to explain, Scout. Look, Honor, don't take the thing. It's nice. It seems nice. With Ryan trying to give you a job. But it is literally another control device. Where he used to control your thoughts and everything now he will be directly in control of your income you do not need that there is still much about humans I do not understand they are so different from things things are immutable they have clear traits that I can observe plot square, rigid pole, rainbow stripes however people are different they have emotions, which can hide or show in different ways. This is hard for me to discern. I can detect basic emotional patterns, but when we first met, I always struggled to understand you. I assumed my routines were faulty, but now I think this is because you were hiding your feelings. But ever since we teamed up, ever since you started being a detective, they have started returning clear results. The margin of error is now negligible, and all of the routines all agree. You are happy! I can't deny it's been fun. <laughs> You're right. I never meant for any of this to happen, but if I'm honest with myself, <laughs> I've loved it. I've loved investigating too, Otter! But it's not just about how I feel, it's about my future. You saw what the paper said. I'm a laughing stock. I think I'm having a breakdown. Didn't you tell Becky that it doesn't matter what other people think of you? Heh. <laughs> you don't miss the beat, do you? I'm sure to make save important discoveries in my long term memory. Honor, my creator didn't teach me about feelings. But I do know that happiness is a good thing. A thing that people strive for. 
In other words, I... I want you to keep going. Because I want you to be happy, Honor. That's some pretty solid logic. It's almost like you're a robot or something. But you're right. I can't tell Becky she should believe in herself if I can't do the same. It doesn't matter what anyone else says. If it's making me happy, it's making us happy. Then let's keep doing it. Yes, this is the logical conclusion. Come on, buddy. We've got a murder to solve. I don't detect Ryan anywhere in the vicinity. Looks like he finally got the message. Well, time to continue this investigation, I guess. Also, don't forget your mother is waiting for you at home. Great. Honor's apartment. Detective, we need to talk about my mother. Guess I should explain. Uh, but I don't want you to explain. I want you to not call her again. That was rude, and I didn't like it. Anyway, it looks like we have some more stuff to look through. And we need to go sh uh, show Fran a whole bunch of stuff as well. Let's do that next time. Till then, everyone, this is Jabby signing out. Y'all have a good one.